just got a question for you. Yes, I do. I want to go in the water. You want to go in the water? Yeah. Yeah, we, can't we, go in that water. we didn't bring a swimming costume with us. Oh. Sorry about that. So, Otty, it is very cold in there. <laughs> So a couple of weeks ago in a video I vlogged saying that I just felt incredibly good and just energized after coming out of playing paddle and I was talking about all like the benefits of taking some time as and when you can for yourself to do things that you love and yeah that was just feeling great that is exactly how I feel right now this morning I started up again going to Pilates well I say started up again I actually had one session just before Novi was born and then the reminder and the reality hit me of just how brutal newborn broken sleep life is and obviously paused my session straight away and didn't go back to Pilates. So I did one session before she was born and then I've literally just picked back up today and it's just so good. It is so good. It is so brutal as well. It's so different to every other kind of like fitness that I do in my life. It's like it just pinpoints the smallest, most precise muscle and works it out so incredibly hard, like no other workout I've ever done. I feel like this morning, a good three or four times in my session, I was like, this is just so brutal. My legs at one point were like uncontrollably shaking. My abs, man, they're gonna be absolutely ruined tomorrow, but just do feel great. Do feel very, very good. I've just realized I haven't actually spoken in the vlogs, I don't think yet, about the fitness event that I've signed up for. It's like a fitness event challenge in October. And yeah, I need to get training for that. So I'm sure throughout the vlogs, I'll chat about that a bit more, tell you what I'm up to, what the plan is. I've got a couple of mates who are getting involved in it with me as well. I might actually vlog the actual event itself and like film some little bits of it on the actual day as well. Because if I'm showing you throughout the vlogs, Parts of my training, it'd be weird for you not to see bits of the bits of the day. So maybe I'll take like a GoPro with me or something. But yeah, anyways, how are we? How are you doing? Are you good? I hope you're well. Drop a comment down below from one to 10. Just drop a number between one and 10 on how you're feeling. And hopefully by the end of watching this video, somehow that number's lifted up a little bit. If it was a seven, maybe you finish off watching this vlog and it's an eight. If it was a six, it might be a seven. We never know. So I've already had a coffee this morning, first thing before I went over to Pilates, but what I haven't had is my AG1. And this is the sponsor of today's video. And I honestly cannot even begin to explain how excited I am that AG1, this company here, you would have seen this throughout the vlogs so many times, or maybe this down here, which is what I put into that pot, one of these, you will have seen me making a lot in the vlogs, you would have seen me drinking it a lot in the vlogs, probably my Instagram stories as well. And now in this video today, I'm getting to work with AG1. In fact, actually, I wanna go on my emails. I legit did not plan to do this. I wanna see the first time that I ever ordered AG1. Cause I feel like it must have been in lockdown. Yeah, here we go. December, 2021 your order confirmation. I started my 30 day subscription, December 2021. That is a long old, a long old time. 
So to explain it simply, AG1 is a convenient blend of over 70 vitamins and minerals and other ingredients that support your daily nutrition. I feel like, maybe it's just me, but I feel like I'm constantly told to take this, try this, do this supplement, do this thing, take this. And AG1 takes all of that worry away and literally with one simple scoop and a little bit of water. Let me just point the camera down a little bit and then one scoop in there. It is literally that simple. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna add some ice as well. Make it a little bit nice and cold. Add a couple of bits of ice in there. And then just give it a little, little shake of roux. Give it a little one of them. It's just genuinely good. Like I'm actually not even joking. It genuinely is good. Just some of the benefits include energy, mental performance, hair, skin, nails. There is so much going on in this. In fact, AG1 are so confident that you're gonna feel the benefits that if you don't feel 100% satisfied within the first 90 days of your first order, they'll give you your money back. So you can go to drinkag1.com forward slash Alfie, or you can scan the QR code on the screen now to get started on your first order. You'll get 20% off when you subscribe and you'll get a free one year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 here, as well as five AG1 travel packs. I'm very happy, very excited to be working with AG1 on this video after, like I said, so many years of drinking their product. Definitely go check it out. Look how high up we are. Whee! Here we go. Whee! Whee! This is fun. What did you think? <laughs> Sean's now taking Otty up. What do we think? You want to do it again? Yeah. And again? Yeah. <laughs> Otty's adamant that she can do it all by herself now, so she's told me to wait at the bottom. Zoe and I bought two new pieces of art the other day and I feel like it would just be nice to show them in the vlog. So my mum the other day was with her friend in Petworth, mm. I, say. I don't even know what that is. And she sent Zoe and I this picture on WhatsApp of this piece of art here in a gallery that was for sale, saying that this looks like Zoe and the girls in the bar. And we were like instantly just obsessed with it and I was like, Zoe, we need to buy that and see if mum can bring it home with her today. So I went online on the gallery and it was for sale. And we like rung them up, spoke to the woman on the phone and everything. Bought the piece of art and my mum brought it back with her. I love and it. it. Was just the nicest piece. You know when something just like speaks to you and you can't stop thinking about it? And you're like, I need that in my house. It's also super different to every, every other piece of art we have. Like this kind of like neon thing and like... We, yeah, here. we have quite modern this art. This here, like this, like every, all of our art is like very modern. This is such a different style, so I'm like super excited to buy it. But also our bath upstairs, feel like you might have seen the bath in the vlog. Yeah. 
but has like the taps like in the middle of the bath. We've got like massive plants in the bathroom as well. So it literally feels like our bathroom. And so the girls. And then when I was on the website, I was like, not only is that piece amazing, but I saw this piece here. From the same artist. From the same, oh, the artist's name is Amy, Amy Schupper. I'm probably butchering your name, Amy. Apologies if you're somehow seeing this. Um, I'll put it on the screen so people can check out her art. I saw this piece as well on the website, which is called Helping Father and Children. And I was like, that's literally me. With your coffee, future. with your coffee thing over Maybe your shoulder. Little, yeah, my little coffee cloth. <laughs> my Otty, Novi when she's a little bit older. We've got these exact chairs. This orange here kind of looks like an orange Arga. That's who I want to be in like a year or so. Yeah, we were like, oh, these you. are so lovely. Just when Alfie's saying that, they're not actually me and they're oh, not no. actually Alfie, no, but no, in our Alfie. heads, <laughs> in our heads they are. Yeah, but it does look kind of like us. Yeah. Like, this looks kind of like me, but this looks so much like you and the girls. In like a year's time, yeah. yeah. So, just not a trailer in the blog. Yeah, they're very nice. We get a lot of comments, particularly about this piece of art actually around here, which is a David Spiller. That's like obviously super visible in the house around the kitchen and conservatory where we film a lot. And we get so many comments and DMs about that. I, I got somebody DMing me the other day saying it's not for sale anymore, it's sold out because <clears throat> there was like only like 75 editions. Can I buy it off you? And they offered like quite a lot more than what we bought it for. And I was like, that's the most random DM of just, I've been trying to get it, can I buy it off you? Um, no, I love it so much. would never sell it. but. Just thought I'd show these two pieces. We did get two more of these though, as well. Two more David Spillers. The other day. Should we show those in another blog? Yeah, we'll show those in another. Like, we don't want to. This has turned into like the art blog. <laughs> but I just thought it was nice because it's just a little bit different, isn't it? And Amy's work, because I, I love that style and we don't own anything like it. And as I said, we get quite a lot of comments on the blogs asking about art in the house. So. So there you go. I don't know where they're gonna go yet. Do you think in the bathroom? I don't know. I feel like in the bathroom is too like obvious because it's That's like a bathroom picture. Yeah. Could go in the hallway somewhere or like the living room. Mum said like up here. What, in this room? Yeah, but then you can't really see the colors no, because of the neon so. and it's quite this a dark room. This around the corner here in yeah. the conservatory is like very bare and that kind of size. It'd be quite high up. What was the name of the gallery? Does it say on the back? On the back of the thing. No. Montserrat Bray Gallery. Nice. And they were lovely on the phone. So feel free to go check out all of the work. Shall I, yeah. shall I cut? <laughs> yeah. I've got to be honest with you. So you know a couple of vlogs ago when I moved the Peloton into the gym. Number one, I haven't used it since moving it in here. This is actually the first time I'm, I'm about to connect it to the Wi-Fi, set it all up. To the point where you might note it, you probably can't see from here, but I actually have even lost the cable that plugs it into the wall, but it fits a USB-C, which is the same as my Mac laptop. So down here, I don't know if you can see, but I've literally used my laptop charger to plug in the Peloton, and it works all good so far. I haven't even, done one Peloton session this year. Like I don't actually remember the last time I used the Peloton, even when it was back in the house. Like I haven't done, I haven't done one since nobody's been born. My last ride was in March 2023. I thought it was like towards the end of last, March 2023. I've got a big old chunk of cycling to do in the fitness event that I've got in October, I need to get back in the flow. Something that I feel like we just don't appreciate enough as adults, that just goes a bit under the radar, goes a bit unnoticed, is the fact that your feet stop growing. I remember being a teenager and saving up and buying a banging pair of shoes, and then like six months later, them just not fitting anymore, and just being so gutted because I spent so much money saving up. And now I just get to reap the rewards of not using my Peloton in over a year. And these still fit perfect. Let's see what we're saying. I feel like my cardio is going to be so bad compared to what it used to be. Twenty minutes later, and I'm absolutely cooked. The first four or five minutes of that, I was like genuinely worried that I wasn't even going to be able to do half the session. Having this now in the gym rather than the dining room 
lovely. Like I genuinely feel like I'm gonna really, really get back in the flow. Time to get these off and jump into a little back and bicep session. I feel like I can't come in here without also lifting some weights. So I'm currently just sat here finishing up the edit on this vlog and I haven't yet answered a question that was asked in my previous video. So if you don't already know, or if you're new here, at the end of every vlog, I answer a question that was left in the comments of my previous vlog. So if you've got any questions at all, drop it down below now and I'll pick one and answer it in the next vlog. Um, this isn't a specific one that was from the vlog, but it is one of the most common things that I get asked about. So I feel like it's fitting to answer it because I just get asked it so many times in different ways in the comments. And it's basically like different ways of asking, how do I stay motivated slash dedicated slash keep up with wanting to better my life, I suppose, and better like my diet and working out bits and just doing as much as you can. Obviously everybody has got different things going on in their life, so they've got different amounts of time they can dedicate to working out or cooking or mindfulness or therapy or whatever those things are for you. But I get asked quite a lot about like how and what like my thought process is behind those kind of things just because I feel like within my vlogs I film quite a bit of those kind of things. I suppose like I'm quite open about working on myself better. I mean I've got the whole brand Future Self so that kind of kind of gives it away. But I saw something a while ago and it's super well known. This is no way my thing at all. Um, but I saved it because I wanted to answer it whilst talking, answering these kind of questions in here. And lots of you have probably already seen it before, but I feel like if you haven't heard this before, it's just such a cool framework. It's such a nice way to frame an answer to this question. And I actually have no idea who's roughly like quote this is. I think there's a lot of different versions that float around. But it basically goes, if you switched bodies with the person you love the most for a year, how would you take care of their mind and their body knowing that you'd be giving it back to them? Like, how would you take care of that person, the person that you love the most? And it's only for a year, and then you're gonna give it back. Because I think it's important that you're like giving the body back to them, so therefore you want to like look after it, and then slotting yourself into that position and trying to do that for you. And I think that's just such a cool framework, like such a nice way to frame of just like the level of effort that you would put into looking after a loved one's body and mind and everything if you were to like look after them for a year. Like I imagine now if I had like my mom or my dad or my sister or Zoe or one of the girls or like a really close family member or friend's body and I was like switched out like Freaky Friday like the film for a year and I was looking after them. I would, yeah, just do everything that I possibly could as much as I possibly can to look after that person knowing that I'm giving their body back and therefore trying to make that same effort even though it's just for yourself because it's just as important. So yeah, not my answer, but just a little bit of food for thought, something to think about when thinking of those kind of questions. Yeah, I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've actually got a, a very exciting video going up next week. We, oh, do I say or do I not say? Maybe I'll leave it as a little like surprise. Although if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably get hints and clues uh, throughout the next week or so. But yeah, I've got a special vlog going up next week that I'm excited for you to see. I feel like those of you that have been following for a long time and that love the like family home video style vlogs, um, I feel like you're really gonna enjoy the next vlog. But as always, really appreciate you watching. Drop the video a thumbs up if you haven't already. It takes literally a second of your time, go down below. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not already. If you have got a YouTube account, you can click the, I feel like I'm just pitching everything now. You can hit the bell button, which will notify you or ding your phone every time I upload a new vlog. But yeah, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. The comments, as always, just on every vlog recently have just been so lovely. Like I can't, I feel like I'm gonna go in a ramble for like another five minutes if I'm not careful. But I just wanna say thank you so much for just all of the lovely, I was gonna say comments, but just everything at the moment. I feel like, and I say this occasionally, but I just feel it stronger and stronger. Like honestly, the community that we've got here, the group of people that watch these videos, 
is like nothing else. We've got our own like community of just, just the best bunch of people. Like if you're ever having a down day, go take a read of my comments and my vlogs. Then it's just ridiculous. And that's by no means me bigging up myself at all. These aren't my comments. These are your guys' comments. They are just the most fulfilling, lovely, wholesome comments I've ever seen on any YouTube video. And I'm so lucky that they're on my YouTube video. Um, so I appreciate you taking the time to leave all the comments you do because I genuinely read as much as I possibly can. And it, it's just so lovely. Like, so especially when it's around like such, how do I describe like homey videos, I suppose. Like the vlogs that I create are so raw and so simple and just like my actual life. So it means a lot because none of, none of the videos I make are to make videos, if that makes sense. Like I don't, I don't remember the last time I ever did anything in a vlog that was for a vlog and not just for me to live. And I happened to also be filming it. So it just feels extra special. Anyways, I'm rambling on. I appreciate everything. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week with another new video.